All right, so let's create a drop down button right there. So an animated drop down button. It can look quite easy, but it's not that easy because we need to use some JavaScript to create that a lovely little animation. If you want to just use display none and display block, it can be more easy without any JavaScript. But if you want to animate it, you need some JavaScript. So yeah, indeed modify is written in French right there, but we will uh, make it in English, don't worry. So I've put the source code in the description if you want to take it on one website that I created, uidelivery.com, and you can just grab it and use it as you want, if you want. So if you want to follow along with me, just create a folder with three files. So app.js, index.html and style CSS. And we can start right now. So let's open it with the live server. Yes. And let's start with the HTML. So we need a um, container. So for example, div dropdown. And inside it, we need a button with the class btn top, a span with the text modify inside it. And then we will use an SVG. So we could use an image with the source SVG uh, that we put right there. But we can also just grab the source code right there and just grab the SVG tag and copy it and paste it right there. Okay, so it's not that huge. So you can let it right there. But you can also create an, a file. So a chevron.svg. Paste it there and just link it with an image tag. Okay, so it's as you want. So great, great. So we do have a button, a button right there. So I will try to make it look a little bit better. So we do have a button with a span and an SVG inside it. And now we need a list. So a div with the class blog links. Okay, so a list right there, a lie and some link inside it. So link one right there but I will create link two and three. Okay, so link two and link three. Great, so we do have our HTML right there. Okay, great, we can go to our style CSS. So basically right now it just looks like that. Okay, great. So in our CSS, we will start with the global container, the drop down, drop down with a max width of 300 pixel, some border radius to run the angle. Yes, some margin, 100 pixel auto zero, and a background of a violet color, 674B E zero. Okay, a nice little uh, purple-ish color. Okay, and now we need to use the overflow hidden, which is really important. We want to hide what overflows our container. Now we need to create our button to style our top button, so BTN top some padding, 20 pixel, a width of 100%. We remove the border with border none. We remove the outline with outline none. Font size, 20 pixel. Display flex, and we want to put some space between the chevron and the text, so space between. Align items center, and a background also. So exactly the same um, background, so uh, exactly the same background as this one. Okay, great. Cursor pointer. Uh, okay, some border radius also, five pixel, and a color white F1, F1, F1. All right, all right, so it's working, but our SVG is way too big. So BTN top, SVG width 20 pixel, and it will just look better. Okay, great. So some space between the text and the chevron, some nice color and everything. It start to look really nice. Great. So now we will take care of the list below. So block links, a padding of 0, 20 pixel, and a transition on the height property. 0 0.2 second duration and is in out. So yes, we will use the height property, which is not the best property to animate in CSS, but since it's just a button, it won't make your PC crash or whatever. Don't worry about that. And it's the only way to achieve that kind of effect. Trust me, I, I tried a lot of things. I read a lot of articles and everything. And this is the only way uh, to create that kind of effect uh, with the height property. So after that, we will put a height of zero to begin with. But right now, I will just put it in um, in co comments right there. And we will just finish the um, LI. So block link LI, 
list style type none, a padding of five pixel zero. Okay, now the block links li a font size 80 pixel, 18 pixel, 18 pixel, color f1, 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 and margin left five pixel. Okay, and to finish, 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 we have our block links right there, li last child, last child. You see that the last child is way too close to the bottom, so we will put some padding, padding bottom, uh, 25 pixel, okay? So it will uh, do a um, more beautiful design. Okay, so great, it's working, it's working, it's exactly the same, just not the same uh, text. Okay, so we can also remove the text decoration if you want, so you can put uh, text decoration none right there, if you want to remove the little bar right there. Okay, so now we need to make it height zero pixel, and you see that it, it collapsed. And we can't grab the links and everything because we put an overflow hidden right there, okay? Overflow hidden, and if we comment it, you see that I, I can still uh, click and grab the links, and if I put overflow hidden, it will be hidden. Okay, great, great. So now we can head to our app.js, and we need to take some things. So document.query selector, drop down, drop down, okay. So we just unzoom a bit. And then we need some other things. So if you want to uh, duplicate, you just press shift, alt, and arrow down. So drop down and block links, block links, okay. So we need to take block links. Then we need to take btn prop. Okay, so this is the top btn. Okay, and to finish the li items, li items, and it will be a query selector all because we want to select multiple items and it's drop down li. Okay, great, great. Now we need to add some add event listener. So btn drop dot add event listener, click, toggle drop down. So we will call a function called toggle drop down, and then we will create let's toggle index. Now we need to create that function, toggle drop down. Okay, so that variable will be the variable used to toggle, okay, on off, on off, so activate it or not, just like that, okay? Okay, so if toggle index is false, so exclamation mark toggle index. If it's false, we want to, when we click on it, we want to uh, give some height to our element. And actually, we want to give some height to our block links because by default, right there, their height is zero on CSS, okay? On our style sheet, height is equal to zero. But in JavaScript, we do have a property that will give the real height of the element, uh, that will give the, the real height of the element. This is the scroll height property, okay? So even though in CSS, the height is zero, we can have a dumb property, we can use a dumb property to have the real height of the element. So we will use it. So block links dot style dot height will be equal. So from zero to backticks dollar curly braces block links dot scroll height. And don't forget the pixel right there, okay? So basically scroll height is the height of an element. And even if you put a height of zero right there, it will just give the real height to you, okay? The real height with the, the height M inside it and the padding and everything, okay? Even if the element has a zero height right there, which is magical, right? Okay, we can also log it if you want. So we can log it right there, okay? Okay, so if we click on it, it will give that right, that height, okay? And we can put toggle index to true and we can return. Okay, so we animate the height, we change the toggle index for the next uh, toggle, and we return. So since we do have a transition on height, it will work, it will just work fine. So right there, we'll try it, look, click, and it's working, it's working, okay? It will just give that height, so the, the real height of the element. So great, great, that's working, and now we need to say that else, so we, we are not forced to write a health statement right there, we can just say block links dot still dot height equals zero. And we toggle index again. 
okay and now if i click on it it will open it and then close it open it and then close it okay so it's just working fine if we open our console we can see the scroll height of the element which is 130 13 so, sorry 113 pixel okay so it's just working fine great just fine all right all right so that's working that's working it's great but now when i click on a link right there let's imagine it will uh, move uh, my window to some elements on that page i want to close that drop down button i want to close it so how can i do that well i just need to use the li items right there dot for each so for each li i will add an add event listener which one the click and it will just trigger exactly the same function so okay so toggle drop down right there okay so i can just put it right there so it's more logical okay so it will just trigger the same function so now if i click on the link it will just close it open close open close okay great 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 so this is how you create a drop down button an animated drop down button actually okay so this is why we need some javascript and we need that uh, scroll height property and everything okay great so you can find the source code in the description so just use it as you want like the video subscribe comment and yeah see you on another video